this? What is this? What is this? I don't know. I don't know. I can't freak out. I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. First of all, relax. Don't let PT school freak you out stressed out. Now it's going to just because it's a lot riding on the table. You're going here for seven years of total schooling, three years of PT school. It's a lot of money, a lot of effort, a lot of time. But PT is not the hardest profession in the world. Have some fun. You're going to be going into a very fun and rewarding career that makes a good comfortable salary in there as well. If you're having stress and you do that, talk to your professors. Calm down a little bit. Talk with fellow staff at the or staff at the at the school professors that you're having a tough time with their class or just not getting some material and fellow classmates that you can get along with. Now, you're not going to get along with all your classmates, but you know, some of the people that you can have fun with and work with in there too, you get on the same wavelength and personality wise, talk, decompress, calm down, just study, know the material inside and out. So they can't ask you any question that you don't know about. Don't freak out. If, oh my God, I don't know anything about the 15th hour. Just worry about it as it comes study, break it down, take your time, do not procrastinate, practice in your practicals with, with a good group of people and study with a good group of people. Study by yourself first, then study with people a couple days before the test so you can get a, a litmus test for where you're at with everything and on the, with the subject matter, okay? Don't stress out, don't freak out. I know it's easier said than done, but it'll all be okay. Cut expenses any way possible. Get a roommate, live with two roommates, try and have basic cable, not really needing to get television, just to have antenna television or something included in your rent. Internet is essential, of course. And if worst case, live with your parents if you can, if you live in the same state, that'll save you, you know, three years of rent, that's for sure. And who wants to live with their parents? I know nobody, but ultimately it's gonna save you money in the long run. And that's the name of the game. If you can save a thousand bucks a month, for three years, that's $36,000. That's a whole lot of change that's going back in your pocket. Cut expenses in any way you can around that with water, electric, cheap rent, roommates, any way you can, it's gonna help out a lot. Party it up, simple as it sounds. Definitely have some fun with it. PT school is supposed to be fun. Have fun with your classmates, have parties, have get togethers, meet down by the beach if you're in Florida. If you're not, sorry about that. Go to school in Florida, of course, but ultimately have fun with it. Don't stress out, don't freak out too much. PT school is going to be stressful, but decompress, have a good time with your classmates, have some parties. Don't get too crazy. Now, don't let it interfere with your PT career, graduation, finals, tests, practicals, exams, papers, whatever it is. Don't let it get in the way of that. But when you can party, have a good time and party it up because PT school is only three years and then you hit the real world. And it sucks. Get a part-time job. A part-time job is going to help you with little things that come up with your day-to-day uh, -day expenses, your monthly expenses, going out, having a good time. If you're not using all your loan money all the time, that's, that's a good thing, of course. And a part-time job can work 10, 15, 20 hours a week. I know I worked in PT school at the local gym, a lot of our classmates did, so it was kind of cool to work with your other classmates and other people in the other programs through the physical therapy school and really grad school in general. So it's kind of cool, working at a gym is not hard, you just got to show up, be there, make sure the equipment's okay and work your way up, maybe do a little monotonous job as a, as a PT tech, some people do that, some people do different things outside of physical therapy school or jobs throughout campus. Don't kill yourself, do it where you can do it part-time and it doesn't hinder your classes, of course, but also a part-time job will help you save a little bit of money here and there. Hey man, yeah, um, I can't come out, I can't. PT school, it's my life. Uh, I'm not trying to do this in my world, man. PT's, PT is my world, I'm gonna be the best PT ever. I know we just had finals, practicals, I know we don't have anything for a week or two weeks. I can't do it, man, I don't wanna do this. I'm gonna study, I'm gonna read ahead. I'm gonna get better than this. I'm gonna be top of my class. I'm gonna do this. Sorry, man. Can't come out. Make PT school your life, not your world. You're gonna be around these people, <laughs> these 42, 45 classmates, 30 classmates, whoever you got in your class. Don't make that there. Decompress. Get away from some classmates. Get away from the PT class, the world, and there too on the weekends if you can a little bit. Try to have a little semblance of real life. Hang out with other people outside the program. Have a little break from everybody too. 
Don't make it as PT is my world. The class is everything that it's all or nothing. I can do PT and nothing can't have any fun in life. That's really not what it's all about. PT school should be fun, exciting with fellow classmates that you get along with on there too. It's stressful, of course, but ultimately don't make it your all encompassing all and being there too, because it's going to break you down and just not enjoy life. So live it up, have as much fun as you can while in PT school, and don't let it stress you out too much. Don't burn bridges with your faculty, classmates, and people around you, um, and anything in the world of physical therapy. Physical therapy is a small community overall. There's only so many therapists in your state and in the nation, and everything's kind of connected. It's a small world out there too. Most people kind of know someone who knows someone or went to this school or knows this professor or went to this class or went to this course or something. And you never want to burn bridges anywhere in life, but let alone with your classmates and your, your uh, staff at your college. Now, that's a good thing of getting a job and everything too. It's not what you know, it's who you know in this world. So don't burn any bridges when you can on that. That'll save your butt in and out of school and definitely outside of school when you're looking for jobs, changing jobs, changing careers, moving out of state or moving out of the area. Can't tell you enough that has happened a lot for myself included. I work with a good friend from PT school right now when I used to work for a competitor, moved on to another facility and work with a good friend in there too. Now, if I didn't keep him as a friend, I might not have had the job or do anything like that too, but we get along well. It's a fun atmosphere and it's actually an awesome experience to work with a good friend. Now, you might not have that, but I wouldn't have had that opportunity if I burned that bridge and I didn't keep a friend and fellow staff in there too from a college. So always do that and never burn bridges. Save your money. Saving your money is essential for physical therapy school. Really in life, that's, that's pretty essential as well. But ultimately, physical therapy school is very expensive. You're gonna be in debt probably 150 to 180, maybe $200,000 in just three years of physical therapy school from all your expenses of tuition, books, fees, living, food, going out, just really just being part of life for three years and not making money. So $150,000 to $180,000, save your money first and foremost before you even get to PT school, during PT school, and make your life a whole lot easier. So have the plan to do it right away, even before PT school if you can. Look for jobs, make a plan, look where you're going to live, buy a home, move back to, if you're going to travel, if you're going to go somewhere across the country, if you're going to stay in the place where you went to college at, or uh, physical therapy school, make sure you have a plan kind of to know what the deal is with that. That'll help you kind of look for jobs during your clinical rotations and while you're in physical therapy school. If you have a plan, kind of stick to it or want to roll with it a little bit. Now you don't have to stick with that, but it'll give you an idea and kind of help you de-stress a little bit too. So go online, check out a couple of things that are hiring. You can have an idea about salary and everything with actually real world stuff because your, your staff at you know most PT schools don't really tell you about salary and jobs and do everything there too. You got to do that on your own. So bring it to the table to find out if anyone knows anything there too or through clinical rotations that everyone does in their PT programs. So have a plan and uh, look for where you're going to want to live if you want to travel or do anything like that. Now, clinical rotations are essential to finding a job and a good career in physical therapy. Now, clinical rotations are done in your second and third years of PT school, and they're basically free labor, real-world experience that you do in different settings of outpatient, inpatient, skilled nursing facility, acute care, uh, pediatrics, and some specialty areas. Now, I got a job from one of my clinical rotations of my last year. Actually, my first rotation of my last year was my first job with the major uh, orthopedic chain in the United States. I might not have got that job if I wasn't his student on there too. So clinical rotations are key. Look what you want to do in this world and of physical therapy, if you like pediatrics or sports or orthopedics or hospitals or certain areas like that too. Look at them, do a clinical rotation in a site that will have you experience and set you apart from another person. Do, do it now, start now, do the homework, do the legwork and talk to your staff at your college to make sure that you can get a good clinical rotation because that is the key to finding a good job. The O'Sullivan Re Review Book, very important to get for your national exam that you will take 
after you graduate. Now, if you graduate in May, you'll take it in July. If you graduate in August, you can take the test in October. Check out the FSBPT website for it. But this O'Sullivan Review book, and they have an O'Sullivan Review course, is essential to pass the test, and it's very important to do that. There's another video about passing the national board exam. Check out that video, of course. But this is essential. Just Google uh, O'Sullivan Review Book, and it will come up. It was 85 bucks. I think they raised the price and made it a little more, more uh, pricey for the stuff that they put in there for the, the new test on there, too. But O'Sullivan Review Book, essential to pass the national board exam.